to one side, okay, sir. Because no, I, I want to provide evidence. You... There is two religions by Jesus Christ. Number sir, one, I don't want to hear it, sir. You're making up your own religion now. Two, no, you're no, making no, up your own no. religion or your definition. Right. Let me tell you the actual definition. That'd be the easiest way, right? Please do. Yeah. When God created Jesus, he created Satan. So in other words, they're spirit bodies, okay? They're not human beings, okay? He created Jesus and Satan, but Satan turned rebel. Sir, okay? sir, sir, sir. That's a fact, it's a fact. Sir, my question was, let me right. repeat it. Right. What do you mean by Jesus Christ is the son of God? It is creation. Okay. He created him as his son. Okay. Is like David the son of God? Is no. Adam the son of no. God? Are the disciples children of God? No. They're, then you're contradicting all, the all, Bible, man, sir. No, no, we're all... Okay. I don't we're understand all, or you don't understand? No, we're all children of God, but... You're contradicting you yourself, sir. You're, you're contradicting yourself. No, I'm not. You've got to understand. Take a moment, that sir. Jesus is the only take a moment. Son. Take a moment. Take a moment. He's the take only a moment. One he can trust. Because Jesus take a perfect. moment, sir. Take a moment. Everybody else is imperfect. You're imperfect. Sir, I'm take a imperfect. moment. Uh, let's Adam just, is imperfect. Let's take a moment. Yeah. yeah. So you understand that? You don't have to be perfect to be the son of God. Now you're adding a criteria. My question is, yeah. What is meant? Like what is meant? Perfect. I'm asking you, is that part of your criteria? Because I'm saying that is David the son of God? Is a, um, Adam the child of God? Are the disciples children of God? Because biblically, no. anyone who believes in God, anyone who does righteous deeds are children of God. Yes, but is, not the son of God. Okay. That's where you got the, the only begotten son. What does the only begotten son mean? Okay. What does begotten mean? Begotten means it's the only one he can trust. That's not what the word begotten means, sir. Okay, what does the word begotten mean? So you don't even know what the word begotten should means and you're going to reference it? Should we Google it? Then? No, before you Google it, which I'm happy for you to do, right. tell me what it means from your understanding, because you you quoted right. John... Um, Let's do that then, quickly, before so, our battery goes. <laughs> no, I can use my phone, it's not a problem. There's no yeah. rush, sir. John 16, 3. No, no, I mean, For God begotten. so loved the world, yeah, he sent his only begotten son. Yeah, because... The, let's let's not go God, into the because. Let's, let's define be begotten. He knew that be because you said begotten means so the God only God. one that could be trusted. So and that's not what the word begotten means. Okay, we'll see now. We're going to find out once our phone livens up. All right, let's go again. And please read it out loud for yeah. the purpose of education. Right. What did come up? No problem. Oh. Stratford doesn't have the best internet. Oh, I see. How can you get in your phone then? No, I'll try, I'll try. I, don't, I, I struggle to get internet on my phone as well. Definition of begotten. Right, let's have a look at it. Well, only begotten son would be the best one, so. Here you go, sir. Right, put in only begotten son. What does the word begotten mean? Well, put in that there, only begotten son. It means a, a child into existence, bringing a child into existence. But you've got to remember, God sent Jesus as a spirit creature, as a human being, because he knew that he would be tried and tested and wouldn't be, tempti and wouldn't be tempted into sin. Before you go into preaching, sir, yeah. begotten means, it implies, when two things get together... I've got him begotten, sir. Jesus was the only person to be born of a mortal mother, Mary, an immortal father. 
God and the Father, that is why Jesus is called the only begotten Son of God from his Father. He inherited his divine powers. So there you go. Now, nobody else has got that. So you believe Jesus Christ has divine powers? Well, he healed the dead, he healed the sick. Those are miracles. Those are miracles. Can you do it? Can do, else do you do it? believe? Can anybody, who can do it then? Muhammad do you believe? Do, do you believe? Do you, you, you don't know what Muhammad, peace be upon him, can do or cannot do. But well, let's not even dilute the conversation with that. Right now, is Jesus Christ God or is he sent by God? Jesus Christ was sent by God. So he's not God? No. He's not equal with God? No. Yeah? He said, as he said, I can only do what the Father wills me to do. Thank you. So right now, what church do you go to, if you don't mind me asking? Well, I'll be honest with you, I don't believe in it, but my mum's a Catholic and I think I should only go to the Catholic church. Please her, because that's only fair. I don't want to upset her. She's 95 now. But the bottom line is... But I just want to understand no, your belief. Hell. I don't believe in hell. I don't believe in the Trinity. So, although I follow the Catholic religion, I don't believe in anything they teach. Like if I was a Jehovah's Witness, I wouldn't believe everything they would believe in because I don't believe that... Um, they believe that the uh, world's coming to end in shortly. I think it's going to be in hundreds and hundreds of thousands of years. You know what I mean? They don't believe that. So they believe so from 1914, which you don't have I a, don't believe that. You don't have a particular church you follow? I do have a specific church I follow. Which is? But I, it's a Catholic religion, but I don't believe in their beliefs. But in you don't words, believe... I don't... When the priest talks, I don't think he's talking sense. Let's put it that way. So I mean, you believe the in the Pope? Well, let's... Catholics this, don't believe let's, in Trinity. Let's, 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 exactly. Oh, they do. They do. They've got. Uh, you Google it. They do. They were talking about the other day, and the, and the priest. So what, what's the concept of the Trinity? Hard, it's very hard. Well, they believe there's three persons in one God. That God came down as Jesus was God. In other words, He came down. But then that's not what alive. you believe. I don't believe in that. No. Then how could you call yourself a Catholic? Exactly. I don't really. I'm so you're making up. You're mind. making up your own religion then. No, 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 no. Because at the I'm moment. I'm not making up any religion. You are. I'm only following. No, 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 no. You don't understand. This is where you. Explain it to me. Yeah. What, what, I don't believe, right, at this present moment in time, I don't believe there's any religion that's 100% correct. Not one religion, okay. right? No one can be 100% correct. Because my claim is, my claim is Islam is 100% correct. No, definitely not. I'll provide definitely my evidence. Not. I'll provide my evidence. Well, prove your evidence, then. That's fine. Let's hear your I'm evidence. Because I'm making a claim now, Let's right? Let's hear your evidence. No, no, that's fine. That's right, fine. Let's hear it. That's fine. Now, before I provide my evidence and my proofs, right? God is perfect, correct? God is perfect, Jesus is perfect, yes. A moment ago you said Jesus isn't no, God. No, I never said that at all. No, I never said that at all. You asked me, right, has Jesus got the same powers as God? You said no. And I said no. I never said he wasn't perfect. No, 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 no. So it, Jesus is the only perfect person who lived a human life okay. because he was sent is to Jesus the Christ God no okay he's the son of God we've, dis we've discussed that and Jesus okay. is perfect but he hasn't got the same powers as God that's what I said that's fine so right now God is perfect and Jesus Christ is perfect correct okay and man isn't perfect correct Jesus Christ is a man no Jesus Christ is a spirit creature who lived as a man Spirit creature. Okay, okay, right. Let me let me let me let me summarize that. Please. How did Jesus get into Mary? Was it through natural sex? No. Exactly. He was put there yeah. by God. That's okay. why he was a spirit creature put into Mary to for her to have a baby so Jesus could live a human life and be tested, right? Passed the test, obviously, he had to pass the test. Is Jesus Christ divine? And, and sacrificed his life to cancel out Adam's sin. Let's not even go into the original sin, right? We're in murky okay, waters okay, as it okay. is. If you're going to say that, why did Jesus come? 
leave that to one side, okay, sir. No, I can't leave it to one side. Because I want to provide evidence. You've... There is two reasons why Jesus came. Let's, number sir, one, I don't want to hear it, sir. You're making up your own religion two, now. No, You're no, making no, up your own no, religion. It's a fact. You can't, you can't it's pick a fact. and choose. You can't it's pick and choose. It's a fact. It's a fact. A moment ago, you said there's no religion. A moment ago, you said there's no religion that has the totality, which is perfect, which doesn't have mistakes. And now you want your quote in that religion. I don't need to know why. I accept. I accept what you believe is imperfect. I accept what you believe is imperfect. If there was a perfect religion, Jesus would need to come. I believe. Jesus came. I believe you're right. Jesus was doing things wrong. I believe you're right. Everybody was doing things wrong. I believe you are right. What you believe is imperfect. I hundred percent agree with you. And then he gave them a new covenant. He gave them to love one another like I have loved you. Let's slow it down. Let's slow it down. And he also came to sacrifice his life for the cancer of Adam's life. You're so answering questions. You're t no, preaching to me. You're preaching because stuff. You're answering questions. I haven't asked. Because you're not listening. That's why. Because I know I'm not listening. Exactly. So because what's the best way for me to, to listen? The what's why. the No, because I don't want to listen to questions <laughs> I haven't asked. Does that make sense? No. I want to have a conversation based on because, things which yeah, I'm interested no. in. Do you know why? Yeah, exactly. You're like I'm not interested. I'm not interested. In Let me speak, they sir. Don't make accusations. No. They want to preach to you. I'm asking you questions. I'm not preaching to you. You're preaching to me. I've you're asked you a question. Like I'm, I'm trying to understand. No, like I'm trying to move <laughs> forward. <laughs> I'm trying to move forward in our conversation, and you okay. keep contradicting yourself. Right. A I moment ago, a moment ago, you said yeah. man is imperfect. Correct. Then you're saying Jesus Christ is a man, and then you're no, saying I Jesus Christ that. is perfect. No, I never said that. I said Jesus Christ is a preacher who lived as a man. Okay, that's fine. So he's not a human being. He was here before. He he's him. not a human he being. He's not here. a man. Jesus was here. Was he a human being? Jesus, was he a human being? Jesus was Is he a human being? No. Jesus. That's fine. Then Jesus, we can move on. Jesus was here. That's fine. The dinosaurs. We don't need to have that conversation. That's fine. Right. So he's not a human being. No. I accept that. Right. That's you fine. Accept that. That's good. That's what Glad you believe. You That's fine. That. Does it make sense? That. That's fine. Right. Now. Okay. Now. We at least we agree is, on something. Is Jesus Christ divine or have divine attributes because he doesn't have a father? Because of the virgin birth? His father is Jesus, is, is God. He hasn't got a, a biological father, no. If that's what you're talking about. So he's, my divine, question, in my the, question. he's divine in the way that he's got no human father. If that's what you're talking about. By the way, you Googled a definition, right? You failed to actually define what um, begotten is. No, but for the, for the purpose. No, 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 Jesus Christ didn't have a father. Correct. Adam didn't have a father. When you say a father, you're talking about a human father. So don't say he didn't have a father. He didn't have a human father. His father's God. He calls him my father. But he happens to be everybody's father because we're his children. But he's his only begotten son. That's what I'm trying to say. You need to understand that he is more superior than what we are. Swiftly moving on. Uh, right now, <coughs> you're saying there isn't a single religion that's got the message preserved in its totality perfectly. That's impossible. And I'll yeah. tell you why it's impossible. I haven't asked you that question. Oh. I don't want to know your opinion, well, okay, sir. Okay, okay. <laughs> Please, don't answer to your question, there is no religion that is actually perfect. Yes, Thank correct. You. So, how are you here preaching to me or no, claiming no, 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 to no, no, preach? Because no, right no, no. now, I can completely, I, can, I don't believe anything you say. No. Let me explain to you. No, no, I don't believe anything you say. That's you don't fine. have a leg to stand on. That's fine. When you're going to say Jesus Christ died explain. on the cross, what, why here, are you going to explain? I'm not here preaching to you, right? I'm not here preaching to you at all. What I'm here is telling you what I believe in the religion as itself, okay? So what I'm trying to say Why do you believe what you, you believe? Well, because I'm telling you now. Why do you believe what you believe? God, I want to hear the answer to that question. Which I'm telling you now. God believes in one day is a thousand years, 
Okay. How do you know that's true? Because it's in the Bible. But one then day is the Bible God is perfect? And, one um, day to God is a thousand years. Is so. the Bible preserved and perfect and has no mistakes and has no errors in it? I personally would say there is no mistakes in the Bible and that's because of the prophecies. So right now, how do you know that any claims you make about the Bible, even this statement yourself, if there isn't a religion which is perfect, if there isn't a religion which has been perfectly preserved, right, with no mistakes in it, then how can the Bible not have any mistakes in it? No, what I'm saying... So you're saying no, the you're religion not. has mistakes but the scripture doesn't? I can explain that, right? Please do. 40 people wrote the Bible inspired by God. Okay, the prophecies that's come out of the Bible over the years have always been proven to be correct. Okay, so if they've been proven to be correct, then the Bible must be correct. Okay. People's interpretation of the Bible and the Quran and whatever. No, no, no. Other, let's not bring the Quran into this. Yeah, I'm politely listening to your perception. People's interpretation doesn't mean to say you're right, but the Bible so. is different because God actually wrote the Bible through 40 men. And they God were didn't. inspired by the Bible. Sorry, they've been inspired by God to write the Bible. So the Bible. Who are these I forty say, men? I don't know, but I would say. Are they anonymous? I would say, authors. Yeah, but the prophecies are the prophecies. If you look at the prophecies. So you're telling me. So okay, right now, if I showed you. Say, why did it say all those years ago? Nation against nation, famine. You know, um, food shortages. Uh, you know, uh, diseases and all that. And how comes all that's happened? Give me one specific prophecy from the no, Bible. No, a prophecy. Give me one. Prophecy. Give me one. Okay, nation against nation. What does that mean? Food shortages. Was there food shortages in the day you, when they Give me the reference. What are you talking about? Okay. Right now, okay, all, there, all, no, all throughout time, all was throughout food, time, we've had short shortages. All throughout time, all was throughout time, food, you've had nations against food, nations. Was there food shortages then in the Bible time? And if so, tell me when. We're talking about in BC, okay? Oh, tell me in BC, and even in AC. Why, why do tell I... Me, tell me when. Tell me when there was food shortages. I didn't make a claim that there was food shortages. The Bible says that. Yeah. That wasn't my question, sir. Well, it doesn't yeah. matter what your question is. You tell me how comes there were no mistakes in the Bible. Tell, point that wasn't my question. Point <laughs> point that wasn't my out, question. Point out where the Bible is wrong, that's what you told me. Or put it when the Bible no. is right. I've asked you two questions, right? I said to you to give me an example of a prophecy that's come true specifically and you're giving me vague statements. And then I followed up oh, okay. a question I said, okay. if I was to show you a single Food message, has come if through. I was to make you... Food shortages has come true. And that's the best prophecy you've got. Well, unless I go through the Bible picking them all out... Then but you're making a claim, so you've been impressed by the Bible, by it's making prophecies, and the best prophecy you've come across is there's going to be food shortages. Yeah. So what, 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 what can you come up with with the Quran then? I can do better than that, but we're gonna we're we're gonna we'll get there, sir. Because I made a claim, I'm gonna back up. Five minutes, I've got to get my train. So no, no, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. Yeah. All right. My plane's 25 past. So in there. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. So right now, I made a claim that Islam is perfect. It's the only religion that's been perfectly preserved, right? Right now. If you Google Quran Birmingham manuscript, you'll find that there is a carbon dated Quran in the lifetime of the Prophet Muhammad in the language he spoke. The Prophet Muhammad spoke Arabic, the Quran is in Arabic. We have a carbon dated Quran in a Birmingham by non Muslim academics saying that it's been, um, it was in the lifetime of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Yeah? We have over 200 million people who have memorized the Quran word for word, letter for letter, dot for dot. Yeah? I'm not going to stand here and point out every single mistake in the Bible. I'm sure you're aware that there's mistakes in the Bible. It's not necessarily in my there's no style. mistakes in the Bible, it's mistakes in interpretation of people. At the end of the day, what language did Jesus Christ speak? I don't know, I've got no clue. He spoke Aramaic. We do your own independent research on that, yeah, because we're short on time. What language did the disciples speak? I don't know. Got... Hebrew. Hebrew. Yeah. Do your own independent research on that. Now, the oldest manuscript you're claiming is the Bible, what language is it in? English. No, it's all, all, all languages, I think. You know, but, you know, I would imagine it'd be all, there's Latin, there's Greek, there's loads of, there's loads of languages in the Bible, I'm sure there is. So you're Hebrew making... as well. Your Hebrew translation of it. That's the Old Testament? Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm talking about the Bible specifically. And even the Old Testament that makes a claim um, that was in the time of Moses and the first five chapters were written by Moses, it talks about his death. It talks about when he was buried. So it, wouldn't, it wasn't written by Moses. Does that make sense? You're talking about 40 authors who claim they were inspired by God, but you have no way of substantiating that information. And you got no way Second, of substantiating your information either. I've given you my evidence. And it's, and it's all a lot of rubbish. Well, you haven't even Googled. Yeah, you haven't even Googled Quran Birmingham manuscript. These I'll are non-Muslim academics. If I get the thing on the train, I'll no, Google it on the train. But then you can't call it rubbish then, can you? Well, it, it shows how disgen disingenuous yeah, you, you are. Can't, you can't tell me, right, that somebody who was never born in those days will take information from somebody else who was probably never around in How do you know you're making claims? And say this is correct. How can you, do you interpret believe? what God is thinking? How can you do that? No one's making you that claim. Do that. Just like the Catholics can't do that. No the one's Catholics making that claim. That Mary was uh, immaculate. Well, Mary wasn't immaculate. If Mary was an immaculate, then Jesus would have been born via Joseph. So because God put Jesus into Mary, it doesn't make her immaculate. But then the church claims that she's immaculate. But like you may claim that this, that and the other. Doesn't mean to say you're right. God, you know, it wasn't yesterday. He was many, many, you know, you weren't even heard of when Jesus, when Jesus was around. So how can you actually say this is right? You're only being told by A, B, C, D, F, G, like I'm being told by the church and the Jehovah's Witnesses and all the other religions, A, B, C, D, F, G. None so of it could be right. None of you, it could be you, right. You follow testimony every day of your life. Does it make yeah, sense? Yeah. All right now, do you, you go learn, and when you, you speak learn, to your doctor, do no. you ask to see the codifications? You, you take it on face value. What you learn from the Bible. We're not talking about the, the Bible, sir. Command, you're 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 in a rush. You need to go. Quran, let me Quran, let me let me let you go. The Quran, yeah. You ask for my you ask for my evidence. yourself. That's not the first. What's the first? Say in order. Sorry. The first first commandment is your Lord. Um, yeah, that well, shall that's not the work. Ten Commandments. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, and then love down labour yourself. Once you've done that there, okay, the rest of it comes naturally. See you later. Alhamdulillah. Um, that was a very strange conversation. Um, yeah, I've been to... These conversations are difficult to be had because it's like there's so many contradictions and I don't even know where to start. One moment he's saying he doesn't uh, believe in any church, any specific religion, um, because there's mistakes in it. Then he's saying that, look, he's a Catholic, but then he doesn't believe in all of the teaching of the Catholic faith. And then he's saying he's low to Catholic because his mom's Catholic. And then he's saying um, God is perfect. Then he's saying Jesus is perfect. And then he's saying man isn't perfect. And then he's saying Jesus is a man. It's like, where do I start? And then he's like, oh, the Bible is perfect. I'm like, wait, hold up. You don't even know who the authors are. You don't even know who wrote it. You don't even know um, what language Jesus Christ spoke. I don't even know why I tortured myself with that conversation. May Allah guide him. And yeah, it's ironic. Like you see from the start of the conversation, he spoke with conviction and there's no foundation to it. SubhanAllah, may Allah guide him. Assalamu alaikum wa barakatuh.